we're making media pieces around the motif of freedom. So anything pertaining to that theme, some people are doing freedom from addiction, freedom from beauty imprisonment, wrongful incarceration. Some people are making documentaries, some people are doing audio essays, and we're going to be showing our work at the Museum of Contemporary Art downtown. I interviewed three different people from three different spiritualities. One, I interviewed uh, Jose Laguna, who is a high initiate in Ekankar. And Ekankar is the religion of the light and sound of God. And one of their main chants is uh, Hugh, which is a uh, love song of God. And here I have one of the cards right here. My product's about rebellious music and how it frees the subculture that's tied to the music, and also how it rebels against the norm of like the music, like actual like music composition, and like how it's written and stuff, and like how that frees people. We're trying to get across saying the kids here, the youth from like 16 to 21, that um, we want them to graduate, we want them to take advantage of the freedom they have here and all these um, programs that they have for themselves just so they can get to the next level in their career. Our project was about religious freedom and exploring it and we wanted to sort of influence people to question religions by showing them different images that represent it and how they're kind of unified instead of different. What he did in his poem. But I'm alright, because I'm at a new point in my life. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're creating an audio CD with some music tracks, and we're underlaying um, binaural frequencies, which um, create different things in your brain by um, modifying the brain waves that you have, and it simulates different things. And so, by integrating this into our video, we're sort of able to give the viewer the experience of what it's like to actually meditate deeply. Well, we finally decided to focus on alcohol, and not just alcohol supporting, you know, the idea of alcohol, you know, everyone can drink, but really getting down to, like, the idea that people with addictive personalities, of course, have a harder time dealing with their problems. Their personalities prevent them from being who they really are. Our project was created to inform those ignorant towards the history and origin of body piercing. Piercing and tattooing has such a like cult it's so culturally significant. It just has such a great history to it that I don't understand why people look down upon it. I mean, why should adorning your body with jewelry be looked down upon? And I'm somewhat exhibiting my work that I'm passionate about and this goes beyond just like a grade. I really felt that exhibiting our documentary in a, a museum like that with a like real Audi public audience was like, it's basically the pinnacle of everything we've done here at High Tech High and it was a really good experience to have our work shown in a professional museum like that.